will be your first baseman. And rounding out the lineup, number 21 in center field is Efrain Emazika. Amasquita. Amasquita. All right, I, I can do that. Thanks for the correction in the booth. We yes. appreciate that. Amasquita. So, like, kind of like mosquito, but mosquito. Probably loves that comparison. <laughs> I'm sure he does. So, the first pitch of the game. Second. Second pitch of the game, since I was uh, mispronouncing the first pitch of the game. Um, count is 0-2. Is that correct, Tim? Looks that way, yes. We're pretty close to the scoreboard people up here, so we should know. <coughs> yeah, why start now? <laughs> That's very true. How about and a strikeout? three-pitch strikeout. Kasson working quickly here, which good news for everybody since First it is a 15, touch chilly outside. Just started raining, too. Did it. We got inside just in time. That's right. Great place to hide in here. Number 13, Hartman. He's the shortstop for Northfield. Hine outside, first ball of the game, if I'm correct, Tim. That's what it looks like. Pretty good start for Caston. Conrad is your pitcher for the comments Oops, this evening. Swing and a miss. One and one. Nope. And, and fly high fly ball miss. might be blown out and it is blown foul. Oh, they called it fair. It's fair. There's a large telephone pole in my way, so if it was fair, it was barely fair. So first hit and a double for the Norseman. First base number fourteen, Blake Harner. Blake Harner, number fourteen, first baseman for Northfield, first lefty of the game. Nice pitch on a strike one. You're in good block by the catcher. Backstop's pretty far away if that one goes by. Hartman looks anxious to get down there to third, doesn't he? Yeah, or just anxious nope. to get back in the dugout. It's chilly outside. Either way, can't blame him. If it gets you home, that's a run on the board. That ball in the dirt, one and two. Oh. Ooh, that one stings a little more today than probably normal. So hit by a pitch. Harner heads to first base, bringing in the catcher and cleanup hitter, number 17, Truman. See if he gets to live up to that title today. Yeah, two runners on base, one in scoring position. On a cold day like this, the faster you work and usually the more momentum you have early on, tends to go well for you. I am surprised, though, there's not many players out there with sleeves underneath their jerseys. Yeah, I think they're going to regret that. <laughs> Probably. Warm up so you can stay warm, but during a whole seven inning game, it takes takes a little bit to stay warm. Caught him off there. So counts even at one. One out, two runners on base. And high fly ball, that will go uh, out of play. Will foul left field. And there's some action going on behind us, a track meet, which I think would be worse than playing baseball today. <laughs> Trying to run against the wind. Well, and their uniforms are even less. That's so. very true. Can you wear a sweatshirt? I'm not sure. Because I know in softball, if you wear a sweatshirt, you have to have the hood tucked in. Those are... Really? IHSA rules. That's roles. a rule. Because mm -hmm, they don't want anybody to grab grab your sweatshirt. So I didn't know really? if that pertained to track. 
High, high fly to fly left ball. field. And one hops over the fence. That'll be a ground rule. Oh, stayed in. Oh, stayed it in. did stay in. Man, I am just eating crazy things over there. It's like a stand-up double. And that drives in one run. But now you've got two runners in scoring position for your number five hitter. Third baseman number 27, Braden Ripplinger. Ripplinger, third baseman, up to bat. So good start for Northfield, especially this big at bat coming up. Two runners in scoring position. Low inside. Got to wonder how much the cold's affecting him today. Yeah, I know. Obviously, the longer the pitcher stays out there, it's only going to get worse. So defense needs to make the plays. Pitchers need to find the strike zone quickly in order to get the best out of each team, I think. But batters, knowing how cold it is, I would say take a couple extra pitches, not help the pitcher out at all. But good pitch there by Conrad. Counts two and one. Runner on second and third. And only one out. Three and one outside on that one. And ball four to load up the bases. I do like Conrad's style of pitching. I think he works pretty quickly. So easy in baseball to take two and a half hours in between each pitch. <laughs> I think that's the one criticism I've always heard about uh, the yes. sport. Yes, yes. So number seven, Viger, the DH. He's hitting for the left fielder Smalley of the Norseman. Kudos to Caston's catcher right now. He's dug up quite a few balls. That's McDonald behind the plate. Ooh, way inside on that one. Umpire liked it. Viger, not so much. Looked like he was trying to frame it a little. Mm-hmm. One and one, here's the pitch. Side, got a strike. One and two is the count. Good hang on by the catcher. Hard to always keep that ball in your glove when the bat's about two inches away. Ooh. Sure looked like a strike to me. That's a strikeout. Is that the second called strike of the inning? Called strikeout? Yes, it was. Yeah. So good job by Conrad, knowing he's in a jam and no sense in having anybody else take control. One run's the best scenario to get out of this inning right Absolutely. here. Absolutely. He's working fast and working ahead. Low inside, one and one. Like he lost that one a little. Mm -hmm. Counts two and one with two outs and bases loaded for Northfield. And easy play to the shortstop. Flips it to second base and that'll be it for the top of the first inning. Caston heads to the dugout to grab their bats. We will be back right after this.
And we're back for the bottom of the first inning. Kasten coming up with their first at bat here. In the leadoff position, the catcher, number five, McDonald. High and outside, 1-0. Matt Coe, the pitcher for Northfield. Low and outside on that one, 2-0. Oh. Wanted a piece of that one, 2-1. and one. Yeah, big swing, smart swing on a 2-0 and oh pitch like that, knowing pitcher's got to come close. <clears throat> Might as well give it all they got. Good eye, but a little close to take, knowing the uh, first two ring-ups in the inning before. Nice line drive, but that's going to... Foul to left. Land out of the ballpark. I did see that one correctly, right? Yep. <laughs> that one was nowhere near the line. No, no, that landed outside of the fence. And that one will fall in for a hit. There's so much green space on a baseball field. I'm not used to this. <laughs> Left fielder number three, Brant Butchkowski. Well, Comet, they have very well manicured fields here. Yes, you are correct. Left fielder Butchkowski up to bat for Kasten. Like he actually got it inside that time. He's been favoring the outside the whole time. Mm -hmm. Trying to get him to chase something. And might have been a hit and run. As you saw McDonald steal and not a favorable pitch to swing at, but knew he had to. That's my guess. See if he that on this pitch. Counts one and one. Kept an eye on him. Mm-hmm. Do you know, being a baseball guy, the specific steps you have to take for it not to be a bulk? You know, I thought I did, but no, I guess I don't. Do you? Is no. that You're asking because you don't know? Yes, because okay. I know, because I don't know. I Someone know. in the booth will probably tell us. That's true. I know the pitching, the softball pitching rules, but not baseball. Okay, what's the softball pitching rule then? Well, I mean, you don't ever throw it to first base because you can't lead off until the ball leaves the pitcher's hand. Yeah. So that's as simple as that gets. That's pretty simple, yeah. <laughs> Throwing some more of that outside. Pretty, pretty busy night here at Caston High School, though. It sure looks that way. Like the ladies are over there playing as well. Softball game, track meet, and your baseball game right here. That's going to get through. Probably fall in for a hit. And nice play by the shortstop to make the throw from the hole, but shortstop not in time. Speaking of the shortstop, Castens is up to bat, number seven, Kinzer. So that's two hits in a row to start the game off for Caston. Pretty rare, pretty impressive. So far, so good, it looks like. Mm-hmm. Conservative leads on first and second. Not really looking like they're going to take off. Yeah, hoping for a hit to get him through. 
Nice pitch coming across. Thought that one might have been a strike. But counts 2-0. Oh. Nobody out. Two cast and runners on the base. Went after that one. Straight mm -hmm. down the middle. Two and one. Swing and a miss. Same pitch. Two and two. Nice swing, though. Oh, that tips off the catcher's glove, and that's going to make two runners in scoring position now. So full count, nobody out. But now casting runners on second and third base. Got a time on the field. Looks like they want to talk it out a little here. Probably have a little calm down chit chat. So number three batter up to bat for Kasten. Clean up hitter in the hole. Looking pretty good for Kasten right now. Could use a strikeout right here. Walk to load the bases with uh, potentially one of the most dangerous hitters up to bat. So this is number 24, Galen Rentschler. Not a great situation to be in if you're on the mound right now. Nope, this is tough. It's going to be a little tight. Comes the pitch. High foul ball. This might be a catch. Big out. If yep. Northfield Dig out. It. Like Rinchler got a little anxious to get that first pitch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a little high, a right little outside. So right fielder Alt now comes up to bat for Kasten. Just needs to stay focused. The single's just as big this early in the game. Mm -hmm. And nice pitch. Co knowing there's not much he can do besides throw strikes and hope the defense takes care of him at this point. One out with bases loaded. Nice pitch. May have just have been the way it was framed, but that sure looked like a strike mm -hmm. from up here. Uh oh. Ooh, high fly ball to left field. And went out. That looks look dangerous from the swing. I think the wind hurt him on that one. Mm-hmm. It's not really helping anybody today. <laughs> Remind me to tell you my baseball rule after this pitch. Okay. Wait for it. And that's... Oh! So the error will cost Northfield as run comes across for Kasten. And now there's still only one out. My baseball rule. Are you ready? I'm ready. At least in softball. It's just it's kind of like a voodoo thing, but 90% of the time when you hit a home run, foul, during your at-bat, yeah. you will be out when you actually get the ball fair that at-bat. It's just how, yeah. how the baseball people work. I don't, I don't know if it's voodoo that probably. That's probably a statistic it's probably to probably how yeah. it works, yeah. Because you just hit a home run, so you're like, oh, I'm good to go. Well, this is the sport of weird Try statistics, yeah. so. You're exactly right. Yeah. Lots of numbers and lots of weird ones. Comes the pitch. High foul ball back toward us here. So this is number nine, Gates, the designated hitter. He's hitting for the pitcher. Oh, 
Those pitches look pretty good up here, but... We don't share the same view, it seems. Nope. Two and one's the count. Still one out and still bases loaded for the comments. Ooh. Nope. Threw that one in the dirt. Good stop by the catcher. Could have been a run. Like we said before, backstop's a long way away. Looks like a good hitter's count here. Three and one. Yeah, this pitch will be a big pitch. Probably just take a look at this one if it looks good. If not, take a swing. No good. Walks, Walks in, a, in run. a run. There's a few sins in baseball, and this is one of them. This is one. This is one. I put I put strikeout looking pretty close up there in in that rule of try not to do very often. Oh yeah. So these next couple pitches are going to determine if Kasten can get a huge lead now, or if Northfield's going to be able to get out of this jam with only a two run damage. Comes the pitch. Watch that one go by. 0 and 1. And Maddox Zider, second baseman, up to bat. He was an SVT for us this basketball season filming, along with Galen Rentschler. And base hit fell in just over the second baseman's glove. Like you're going to get two runs out of this one at least. Yep. Two runs in. So just a short little line drive just over the head of the second baseman gets in two runs. Like we said, it wasn't going to take a lot. First baseman, number 18, Brent Schaefer. So this brings up number 18, the first baseman, Schaefer. He's the number eight batter for Kasten. Runners on the corner with still one out. Good looking pitch there. Yeah, Coe's working ahead early in the counter, at least trying to. So keep that in mind next inning. Maybe more aggressive on that first pitch if you're casting. High fly to left. That'll like it's going to stay in. Oh, no good. No catch. Foul ball. Northfield was hoping it was going to stay foul. They weren't going to catch it because of the risk of the third baseman tagging and going home. Awkwardly placed behind third base and left field. It would have been a tough throw behind the runner. Oh, and two's the count. Watch that one go by, one and two. Ball in the dirt. Two and two. Putting the catchers through their paces today. Yeah, for sure. They're working hard back there. Two balls, two strikes, one out, two runners on base. And good eye. That's an easy one to swing at right there. Kind of breaks off at the last minute, but good hold. Still Schaefer up to bat for Kasten. He'd have had to golf that one. Well, that'll load the bases again. This brings up ninth batter, number 21, Amasquita, the center fielder. Trying to regain feeling in his hands. Probably. Today's a good day. Those hot hands come into play. Yeah, yeah. They never seem to be quite as warm until after the game, it seems like. Yeah. <laughs> when you don't need them anymore. Exactly. Naturally. <laughs> and this sure would be a short game if they took them out now. Yeah. Still just the first inning. Bottom of one. Scores now 4-1. to one. Kasten 
up by three runs. <laughs> Looks like he just needed a little break there. Cleared the head a little bit. Mm -hmm. Big swing on that one. Whatever he saw, he liked. Mm -hmm. 0 and 1. Big opportunity here with bases loaded. Just a poke. We'll get a couple runners through. And there that'll do it in the 5 6 hole. Going to score one. Might score two. Looks Run like we got two in. in there. Yeah, left fielder didn't even try to throw it home, just threw it to the cutoff, who was only 20 feet away from him. Like it got a run on indifference there. So that's two more on the board for Caston. Six to one in just, just the first inning. And the leadoff batter is up to bat for the second time of the game. So this is McDonald. He's the catcher. And he led off the game with a pretty nice line drive right center field. It looks like they got him a little spooked now. Yeah, tough with only one out. I mean, this is, it's cold outside, it's misty, down by five runs, and you still got two outs to go. So that might fly ball to right field. fall in, and it Fell does. In. So base is loaded. Base is loaded once again. Third time of the game so far. In the first inning, no less. Yes. This is left fielder, but... Bukowski coming Left up to bat. Comes a pitch. Way outside. Ball one. He might start pitching nervous now. Yeah, having bases loaded this many. This many times and not being able to get out of the jam. A little high on that one. 2-0. Oh. Oh. High fly in the infield here. Looks like it's going to be a... Oh, there it is. And finally, two outs for Northfield. Shortstop, number seven, Brandon Kinzer. Number seven, Kinzer, comes to the plate for Kasten. Back to his outside stuff, it looks like. Mm-hmm. I think Kasten knows to watch for it now. Yep. Yeah, second time through the lineup. Wow. Well. <laughs> Makes it a little bit easier. Oop. Toss that one in the dirt. Two and zero. Oh, Base is still loaded. Just an infield single, or even a, another duck snort will score two for Kasten. Well, this is not the jam you want to be in again. 3-0. Yeah, I don't want to walk in and run for the second time of the inning. I don't know how they could keep him on if he does it again. Mm -hmm. There's yeah, a strike. That's a strike. You can afford to watch one at that count. Yep, yep. If you're going to swing in a 3-0 count, it better be the, the best, pitch of your life. best pitch ever. <laughs> exactly right. Walked another one in. Makes the score seven to one in just the first inning. Well, he might be getting the pull now. Yes, you can't go out to the mound for a second time without making a change in the yeah, field. Seems that way. So since the second meeting meeting of the inning, we will take a short break. Score is seven to one. You're watching RTC TV four. We will let the new pitcher warm up. And we'll be back after this.
Third baseman number 24, Galen Rensler. And we're back after the pitching change for Northfield. Up to bat now for Caston, number 24, the third baseman, Galen Rentschler. Now pitching for Northfield is number five, Dranzik. He was the second baseman. And co headed to right field. Right fielder came into second base. So just a little flip flop over there on the right side for Northfield. Close call there on that inside pitch. Yeah, that one's up by the head. That one that makes me nervous. Yeah. And no baseball players wear masks on their helmets. That's what I'm used to. In softball, we wear. The uh, big leagues are starting to instate that now. Uh, yeah. Oops, looks like a high fly to center. Looks like they're going to get their third out. And tough inning for Northfield. Seven to one is the score. We're heading to top of two. You're watching RTC TV4. We'll be back after this. And we are back for the top of two. Northfield getting back on offense. Rough last inning for the Norsemen. But up to bat is number three, the right fielder. But not anymore. He's a second baseman now. This nope. is Cox. Foul ball back toward us. Looks like he's trying to win the game by himself out there. Took a couple big swings. Yeah, needing a little bit of momentum. Another foul ball back toward us. And good work by Conrad. He had quite a while to sit, maybe get a little chilly in the dugout, knowing he's got to get a good start at this inning, doing so with lots of strikes. Looks like he's got some good pitch placement there. Yeah, absolutely. I'm glad I didn't park my car back where I had planned to. <laughs> Probably have had foul ball on now. Ooh, nice line, line drive. drive caught. Good play. It's the second baseman, Maddox Zider. So out number one. Drancic heads to the plate. He came in that last inning to finish the inning on the mound. Originally the second baseman. So Northfield, this is still their first time through the lineup. Leadoff batters on deck. One and oh, here comes a pitch. Low inside, it looks like two and oh. And 
and ooh, sounded good off the bat, just missed it. So out number two is a blue blind drive to the shortstop. So center fielder Rosen heads to the plate. And casting pitcher doing a great job. Northfield doesn't have many options other than to swing because the first inning they didn't swing and struck out looking. So good work by the pitcher being in control. Got to get some on base. Got to start producing. Mm-hmm. And ground ball. Line drive to shortstop. Okay. One, two, three, in and. Yeah, grass slowed that one down a lot. So, nobody on and no runs for Northfield as they continue to stay down by six. Casting heads to the dugout to grab their bats. You're watching RTC TV 4. We'll be back after this. Welcome back to the bottom of the second inning where Kasten takes their at bat for the second time, actually third time, Boop. as we're going through the lineup for some people here shortly. Score seven to one, bottom of two. Up to bat is number 22, right fielder Alt. Took a good chop of that one. Looked like you got a piece of it. Flew off the catcher's mask. Mm-hmm. That one hurts. Even with the mask. Yeah. Anything that rattles your brain that hard hurts a little bit. Low inside on that one. One and one. The pitch. Right down the center. Watch that one go by. One and two. Pressure's on him now. This <laughs> really is a good thing he didn't park back there. You yeah. Got four or five balls in the car. Probably have to return them all to Caston because they'd yeah. all be in my. No, they belong to you at that point. <laughs> I think. Do they? Yeah. I get to keep them. Yeah. Once my car's damaged, they're mine. Exactly. Lose a windshield. Oh. Gain a baseball. Got a foul tip. It looks like. Oh. Oh. Safe. Close. One. Very close one. Man, that took a long time. A, to find the ball, and B, to get down to first base. That was a closer play than yeah, I had imagined. So, either way, that's a drop third strike. Alt makes it to first base on, and that brings up number nine, designated hitter, Gates. It actually looked like he didn't know if it was a uh, foul yeah, or not. I know. Kind of looked back. And he's running. Him. Play at second base, and he's out. Yeah. Caught stealing. <laughs> High pop fly, gonna stay inside play and that'll be out number two. Northfield working quicker this inning. Second baseman number 13, Maddox Zider. Maddox Zider comes up to bat. He is a second baseman number 13 for Caston. I don't think you know what to do when the bases aren't loaded. Yeah, exactly. About to find out, I guess. <laughs> 
And good job. This is uh, number five, Drancic, now pitching for Northfield, working a little quicker, a little more consistent. Looks like he has decent command. Mm-hmm. Oh, a little bloop. Looks like it's going to be out number three. One, two, three. Not really, but... Yeah, pretty, pretty short innings for these last two. We're heading into the top of the third. You're watching RTC TV 4. We'll be back after this. Even right there? Oh. We're still recording that right. We can cut it out. That's true. Yeah. It was your fault. Man. Yeah, when you took it away. Number 13, Chance Hartman. And we're back for the top of the third inning. Northfield Norseman up to bat. This is number 13, Hartman. He's the shortstop. First ball fouls backward to make the count 0-1. That didn't even look like a swing. It looked like he was trying to get out of the way. It just happened to have the bat there. Yeah, self-defense ends up in a foul ball. You know the worst ones I've seen is when the ball goes behind the hitter and still hits the bat. Like it's an awful pitch by the pitcher, but they still get a strike yeah. because it's yep. a foul ball. That's the craftiest thing I've seen. I don't think he can plan that sort of no, thing. I don't, I don't think can't. they did it on purpose. <laughs> Because if you did pl try and plan it, it would probably end up as a massacre. Just not be good. Oh, high fly ball to center. Left center. Looks like it fell in. Yes, it did. So he got a big old piece of that, and that will be a stand-up double. A little bit of momentum that Northfield needs. Bringing up number 14, Harner, to the plate. 14, Blake Harner. So counts even at one. No outs runner in scoring position for Northfield. High fly ball might hit the top of the press box. And it did. Yes. Hit the top of something. So one and two. Conrad still working consistently for Caston. It's a high fly ball. Bloop just outside the infield. And tough communication there, but right fielder ends up grabbing that one. I'm sure the ball was just dancing on a high fly ball like that with this win tonight. Sure looked like it. It didn't look like they knew who was actually no, getting it. No, no, it was kind of a, just don't let it touch the ground. I don't care who has it. Catcher, number 17, Truman, up to bat for Northfield. Oh, that one hit the front of the bleachers. Whew. Close call for some of the people out there freezing. Yeah. 
have a baseball land in your lap. You may not feel it for the first couple <laughs> seconds if your legs are numb. That one gets away from the catcher, and he will take third base. And counts even at two. One out. Caston working to keep the Northfield runner on third base. Wouldn't do much damage, but any run puts him that much closer. Might as well not spoil that big lead. Yeah. Keep it while you got it. Full count. Probably take a swing at this one. Yeah. Unless it's somewhere crazy. Unless you can watch it. It's kind of close. Pretty close for a... <laughs> close inside. For a full count. Third so number 27, Ripplinger. He's the third baseman. Comes to the plate. Looking to take a little dent out of this lead. First one goes by, ball one. Took a cut at that one. Foul ball, one and one. One and two on that foul tip. Runners on the corner for Northfield. Just one out. And that one got out of the yes. infield. Run's going to score. I thought he had it on the dive, was just snuck under his glove. So Northfield gets one back. Seven to two is the score. Bringing up number seven, the designated hitter, Viger, to the plate. Designated hitter number seven, Jared Viger. Looks like he might have lost that one. Yeah, a little bit high. Same thing. Still one out, working for two. Just one runner on first base, no scoring threats right now. Looks like he got one on second as well. Oh yeah, you're right, thought that was the umpire. If it is, he's lost. <laughs> he is, and he's wearing yeah. a uniform that looks like Northfield's. Squares to bunt, just as a decoy, I think. So 3-0, and oh, first time Conrad's been down this far. Probably looking for a strike right across the plate on this one. Mm -hmm. I bet you he watches it. Nope. Yeah, ball four. Too high. So for the first time, base is loaded for Northfield. Right fielder number 25, Matt Coe. The starting pitcher of the game, number 25, Matt Coe. Now the right fielder is up to bat, looking to uh, help himself out with some of the damage in the first inning. Nice strike there. Needed that one to get back on track if you're Conrad for Caston. Pretty sure that was the pitch he wanted last time. Mm -hmm. Low outside. One and one. 
Only one out, but bases are loaded. Makes it easy to turn a double play if you can get a ground ball in the infield. Threw that one in the dirt. Was able to backstop that one. A little bit inside on that one. Three and one is the count. Should probably get a decent pitch to look at on this one. Yeah, we'll probably have a pretty hefty swing here. See how it goes. And Ooh. it does. Oh, boy. All right, left field. And that's fair. Stayed fair. We got one in, two in. They stopped the third one from coming in. But... Uh, Perfect hitter's count right there. Knowing bases loaded, he had to come to him. He was well prepared and hit that into the left field corner. So now it's seven to four. Northfield making a little comeback okay, here. Three, Hunter, Cox. Hunter Cox, the second baseman, up to bat for Caston. Got a nice little setup for him here with uh, two runners in scoring position. Mm -hmm. Another base hit gets in two. Not the pop fly. High fly in the infield, and it will be caught. Conrad wants to take that himself, so cast in a little bit safer zone that they're in right now. Drancic comes up to bat. He's the current pitcher for Northfield. Just makes you feel a little bit better once you have two outs, everything. You could still have just... You can as, breathe a little. Yeah, you can breathe, it, and it's just a mental thing because there can easily be just... A hit that scores two more runs with two outs. Absolutely. But you just seem a little more confident with two. But all that confidence could go straight away if he walks. Absolutely. Yeah. It's literally just a game of inches and one pitch here and one Oop. pitch there. Hard swing at that one. He wanted to win the game by himself. Yeah, big pitch. One and one, here's the pitch. High and outside. Yeah, anytime Conrad lets up a little bit on his pitching, gets away from him, just keep putting it in there, good speed, and he throws pretty good strikes. Yeah, just like that. Beautiful pitch on the inside there, yeah. two and two. That's a hard one. Knowing it's hard a strike, that's a hard one to hit. Yeah. Even if he had to. So counts tied at two. Ooh. Now it's full count. Full count, two outs, runner on runners on second and third. Northfield just now down by three. Cut their deficit in half this inning. Way high outside walk to load the bases. Yeah, it gives Northfield a little more momentum. This is... Lead off batter number 22, Rosen. Rosen, up to bat. He's a center fielder. Familiar situation we've seen here, but yeah. uh, it seems the colors have changed on the bases. Exactly. Nice first, first pitch. pitch strike. That's what he needed. Tried to frame it, didn't work. Can't get down early in the count in this position. Conrad looking to work quickly here. Nice little slap. That should make it three outs. Good ball movement. Just didn't find a hole. So score is now seven to four. We're heading to the bottom of the third inning. You're watching RTC TV four. Be back after this.
we're back here, bottom of the third, up to bat, 18, Schaefer. Wants two go by, low and outside, two and oh. Fly to right. Oh. oh, missed it. A little hesitant to have round a two there. Going to be a single. And good dive, but just a little too late. Bounced up. So, number 21 on Mosquita, center fielder for a cast in up to bat. And bunt attempt, pulls back on a ball. He tries to keep Schaefer from stealing. Big swing at that one. Closer on that play, but still nothing. And counts one and two. Took a big old swing at that one. Thought he had it all. Mm-hmm. No outs. Schaefer on first. I'm a Mosquita up to bat. Oh. Do you still call it inside when it flies over them? You know, I just say hi. If it goes above their head, it's just high. Oh. You don't get any left or right direction from me after that. Ooh, big strike out there. So one out catcher brings number five, number Miles, five McDonald. Miles McDonald, the catcher, up to bat. Beautiful looking pitch there, 0-1. Oh really looks like they want Javer, don't they? Yeah. So it's been three in the last five pitches thrown back there. I don't think they're going to have him try and steal. I think that's just how he leads off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're making sure he's not going anywhere, though. <laughs> Counts even at one with one out. Just the bottom of the third inning here. Ooh, I fell. They're still trying to hit your vehicle. Nope, hey. nope. Well shy. Yeah, it is. it's in the parking lot. It's still a little close for me, though. Yeah. Should probably go move it between innings. Just in case. Yeah, it's a little chilly out there. I think I'm going to risk it. That's fair. It. Yeah. 
think I'm gonna risk it. There should be a rule on how many times you can throw to first base. <laughs> That's my new base. We'll have to way. institute it, I think. <laughs> Ooh. I'm not sure why he took a swing at that one. Yeah, rough pitch. Brings up left fielder number three. Left Brent fielder number Bichkowski. three, Bajkowski. Hoping to produce something during this inning. Mm hmm. I really just don't think Schaefer actually wants to run. Mm mm. He's just, scared you now. He's just hanging out. Beautiful strike right down the center. Mm-hmm. Oh, and Wanda Buchkowski. <laughs> and again. Well. Making sure he's not going anywhere. Ooh, this is not where you want to be. 0-2. Oh mm hmm The goal is always to get even, to try and foul off a few and get two balls, but that just makes for a long at-bat. One and two. Looks like he got low on that one. It does seem like Schaefer's leading off less now, like he can definitely dive back. <laughs> right. When you have to dive back 12 times, oh, I'd say Oh, swing and a miss. Got a big strikeout on that one. Yeah, a couple big strikeouts there. Score is 7-4. to four. We're heading to the top of the fourth inning. You're watching RTC TV 4. We'll be back after this. And we are back for the top of the fourth inning. Just about halfway there now. Northfield's number 13. Shortstop Hartman up to bat. I love that. Swinging on a first pitch. Goes foul out of the ballpark. Love that enthusiasm when I get back on the board. High inside, looked like he about rocked him with that one. Yeah, I'm not feel that good off the dome. The chin, especially. Yeah. I've seen that, sadly. High foul coming right at us, maybe. Spinning backwards. Gotta play. That's gonna be a tough Got catch. An out. Yeah, that's tough. When there's that much backspin on the ball, that's a hard play for a catcher. Good catch there by McDonald. This brings up number 14, the only lefty of the day. Wow. Harner, first baseman. The only lefty? I'm pretty sure. Wow. I don't think Caston has any 
left-handed. Usually it's the first baseman or the pitcher, and they're both righties right now. Softball's a little more common to have them switch to the left side more, more recently. Ooh, I fly to right center. Sounded like good, but it's going to be caught. Two down here, top of the fourth. Catcher number 17, Jacob Truman. So Jacob Truman, the catcher, comes up to bat for Northfield. Down to the count now as Conrad pitches 2-0. and oh. Boom. That would have hurt, skimming across your shins too. Can't say it hasn't happened, but it hurts when it does. This far ahead, Conrad could take some time to breathe. Mm-hmm. Here's the pitch. It's like a walk. Third baseman number 27, Braden Ripplinger. Third baseman Ripplinger up to bat now for Northfield. Two outs and now one runner on base for Northfield. Oh, here we go. It's the game again. We're going to play the throw to first base game. I don't think there's been many steals in this game. Uh, I don't you... think there have been actual steals yet. The one attempt was caught. Caston tried last inning. Should have been keeping a closer eye on that. Saw one to indifference, and so I don't know that that counts as a steal. You have to make a play. Like the catcher has to throw it down to second base for it to count as a steal. So it was just indifference. Mm -hmm. Technically, it's eh, he stole the base, but since yeah. he didn't attempt. He borrowed it? Is that did. a thing? He's okay. going to give it back. At the end of the game. Ooh. High left fly fielder. to left. Looks like that's going to be a play. Yep. And that's three. Camped right under that one. So heading to the bottom of the fourth inning, you're watching RTC TV 4. We'll be back after this. And we're back to start off, I mean, finish <laughs> the fourth inning. 
gets me confused when there's a tiny little scoreboard. So up to bat, number seven, Kinzer, the shortstop for Kasten. Took a deep cut at that one, it looked like. Mm-hmm. Oh, and one. And that'll be a ground ball to the shortstop. Easy pickup, and it is. First out, we haven't seen many ground balls this game. No, sure haven't. Most of them a have been. A lot of fly balls. Yeah, a lot of pop flies. Third baseman number 24. Lots of walks, a few strikeouts. So now number 24, the third baseman, Galen Rentschler, up to bat for Kasten. Looks at ball one. And nice Ooh, line drive. Whoa. Great catch. That was more of a, hey, I'm going to save my face. Should probably well, it did this. work, it looked it like. It did. Yeah. It did work. Better to catch it with the glove than your face. It is. So. I have not heard anybody recommend it the other way. Yeah. I haven't. Right fielder Alt up to bat now for Kasten. Takes strike one. He didn't think it was a strike, it looked like, but it no, definitely was. It was. Called a strike by Mr. Umpire. Ball in the dirt there, one and one. A little low on that one, it looked like two and one. Another big swing and a miss. Makes the count even at two with two outs. That happens often. Have you noticed that? Yeah. Lots yeah. of twos in baseball. Ooh. Ooh, that, that was close. That was really close. I'm a, I'm a chicken when it comes to two strikes. I'm borderline swinging at anything that's 32 <laughs> inches away from my hands. <laughs> so when you, I mean, that's impressive to have a good eye, but that's not me. That Pays was off. Low inside. Pays off as he heads to first base. Designated hitter number nine, Carson Gates. Number nine, Gates heads to the plate. He's the designated hitter for Conrad. The pitcher still doing well so far for the Comets. And some big swings, Gaston coming out aggressive. Makes sense. They've got a lead. Might as well tack on to it. But two outs, one runner on first base for the Comets. Oh, ball in the dirt. Didn't really have much of a lead there, so... Yeah, good opportunity to steal if you're anticipating it. Looks like they're a little more conservative with that lead now. Yeah. I think Alt was the one thrown out at second base when he tried to steal before, so. Yeah, I believe so. Safer to stay at first. Safer. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> I'll forgive you this time. Thank you. Just that at once. <laughs> Woo! High fly to left center. Is there a play on it? Yes. They was. center fielder swooped in, and uh, left fielder was camped, and uh, he decided, you know what, I'm just going to yeah, take That this. one's going to be mine. That's mine, so move out of the way, bucko. <laughs> Seven to four. Bucko. Gaston's in the lead. We are heading to the top of the fifth inning. You're watching RTC TV 4. We'll be back.
back for the top of the fifth inning. Castens Conrad still on the mound. Number seven designated hitter Viger up to bat for Northfield. He takes ball one. Is that one high across the letters? Swing and a miss for strike one to even the count at one. Not sure he could have ran if he actually managed to hit that ball. He almost fell over. True. Whoa. High fly ball. Foul Goes ball. out of play. Another one, same place, same pitch, same swing. Same result. Yes, counts one and two, nobody out. Well, it was a different pitch at least, two and yes. two. Makes the count even. Big old swing at that one. Strike out. Swing and a miss for out number one, bringing up <coughs> number 25, right, number right 25, fielder, Matt Coe. Fly ball to left field. That one just bounces foul. I'm pretty sure they called one of those fair earlier. Yeah, it was hard to tell. The line isn't as visible out there in the grass. Maybe need to be repainted. Well, and the way this wind is, it might have whipped it back fair right yeah. at the last minute. Yeah, you know, that's true. We have kind of an obstructed view here with the window. With and the tele everything. The telephone pole in the way. That one will make it through the 5-6 hole as a hit for Matt Coe. So number three, second baseman, second three, baseman Hunter, Cox. Hunter Cox up to bat. Oh, close call there at first base. It wasn't the smoothest dive back. Kind of got stuck in the dirt there. More of a fall. Yeah. Safe is safe, though. It counts. Graceful or not. <laughs> kind of a tomahawk at a high fastball. Evens the count at one with one out, one runner on first base. Lots of ones. And pop fly behind first base, second baseman Zyder swoops in. And that will Pitcher be out number, number five, two. Nate Transic. Looked like they had no shortage of players ready to get that one. Yeah, it's kind of free for all. Yep. Way high inside on that one. Took a look at that one right down the center. Mm hmm. 
evens the count at one with two outs. Drancic, the pitcher, up to bat. A little low inside on that one, two and one. Ground ball to third base, gets under the glove of Rentschler. And that will put two runners on with two outs for Northfield. And leadoff batter Rosen up to bat. Was that an air? I don't know if it hit his glove or not. I think. If it was, it was on the grass. Yeah, error on the grass. Kind of determined on the playability of the ball, which, unless it took a crazy hop, was pretty close. Looks like it's spitting some more rain out there. That's yeah, it is, and that wind's picking up again, too. It's exciting. Uh, it fell back at us. Big play if catcher can make it, and he does. He's got That's it. Two big catches tonight by McDonald. Gets him out of the inning and in what could have been a little jam. So we are heading to the top of the fifth. Top of the, I mean, bottom of the fifth Whoa. inning. Whoa. We'll be back yeah. after this. And we're back at the bottom of the fifth inning. Ah. <laughs> got it this time. Now we've got it. Maddox Zider, the second baseman, watches ball one. Rain picks up just a little bit here. Don't think the wind has stopped at all this evening. So it's just making it a touch more miserable outside. Thank goodness Kasten has some lights. So Drancic's still on the mound for Northfield. Counts 3-0. and oh. Conditions not ideal out there. Wondering if Drancic's trying to power through that. He does get strike number one when he needs it. Really giving Zyder whatever he wants to look at, though, here. <laughs> Might need a helmet when you go out there. Maybe. Yeah. It's recommended. Number 18, Schaefer up to bat. Is it? It does. It did. <laughs> Bounces off the bottom of my car. I'll take that, though. I'll take a bounce. 
Yeah. Versus a smash. We're going to need that ball back. <laughs> it's officially mine. Counts 0 and 1 as they try and get the pinch runner on first base. That's Tate Cowell for Kasten. Looks anxious to go, but I think he's seen how many times they've tried <laughs> to pick off first base. Yeah, lots of pickoffs. I could not think of that word earlier. Pickoffs. There we go. Might be a double play. Oh. But he bobbles it, so it's not not a play at all. So still zero outs. Now runners on first and second. Number twenty one comes to the plate for Caston. This is Amasquita. First, number six, Braxton Early. Now batting the center field. Number Braxton Early pinch Keeper running for Amasquita. Schaefer at first base. I'm betting that ball's getting difficult to hold. Yeah. The longer he's out there, the harder it's going to get. Well, that's what the bobble looked like at uh, shortstop out there. Yeah. And, uh, well, and oh. I mean... Having to go through the grass, too. You know, it's not yeah, like yeah. I'm used to with a game of softball. It hits dirt unless you hit it to the outfield. Sure. There's so yeah. many. There's less dirt on this field than, I mean, on the baseball field in general. So grass makes everything. It seems the runner's advanced on that pitch. Um, did they call that a foul ball? Well, they called it a balk. Oh, it was a balk. called it a balk. Okay. Thank you, press box help. Maybe they're questioning what's going on here. Okay, so the count's 0 and 1. Okay. Ball lodged in his chest protector. Okay. Ah. Ball was stuck in the catcher's chest protector. So two and zero, oh, make that three and zero oh on the pitch. Drancic having a tough time this inning, and that's strike number one. Tough pitch for a strike, but in desperate need of that one. So bottom of five here, casting up by three. And walks. Want to load the bases again. Yep. Oop. Throw back to third base and uh, He was safe. Missed the catch. He was out. They missed the catch. And they called him safe. Yeah, because the umpire. Close call. Umpire pulled his arm back to ring him up and then saw that the ball got away from him. And number five, Miles Phew. McDonald. So Miles McDonald for Caston heads to the plate. Still nobody out. Now we've got the bases loaded. Make things a little more interesting here. Oh. Oh. Dead ball. To bring in the run. So this is number three, Brant Bukowski, Butchkowski. I like the way you now said it better. Bukowski? Yeah. I think it's Bush Butch It's It is. Butchkowski. Yeah. It? <laughs> it's not that at all. <laughs> what did I say? Um. Say it right. <laughs> Butchkowski. Butchkowski. There we go. Yeah. You said Bukowski. That's a, that's a writer. Oh. Well. Yeah. Yeah. I accidentally say the right and wrong thing sometimes. But the batter, more importantly, oh, I already told you who he was. <coughs> we had a pinch runner, Zach Slocum. Don't we have all pinch runners right now? I think so. No, nah, I think Amasquita 
is on second base. From a walk? Mm-hmm. Ah. So there will be a powwow on the mound for Northfield. Tricky situation that they're in. 2-0. Nobody out. Base is loaded. Northfield now down by four runs. Caston looking to capitalize on a already great lead here. Mm -hmm. So Coach Clint Davis heads back to the dugout for Northfield. Butchkowski with a count of 2-0. and oh. Infield sure looks like they're thinking bunt here. Uh, yeah, thinking to go four and get one, hoping for a ground ball. So they're squeezing in. Three and zero. Oh. That pitch is strike number one. So good pressure strike by Drancic. And strike number two. Good pressure pitching right here from Northfield. So full count. Still nobody out. Northfield looking for a double play. Caston looking for a gapper. Nope. And there will be a strikeout. So Puchkowski heads back to the dugout, but number seven, Kinzer, comes up to bat. Shortstop, number seven, Brandon Kinzer. Looks like Dranzik needed that one right there. Mm -hmm. Still only one out, though. Kasten has... Base is still loaded. Yeah, a lot of damage left to be done. Especially with the three, four, five hitters coming up to bat. And ground ball to shortstop. He's going to get him by himself, and that's a huge play, exactly what Northfield was looking for. They get out of a big jam with only one run of damage and scores 8-4 to four, heading to the sixth inning. We'll be back. You're watching RTC TV 4.
we're back for the top of the sixth inning pitching change for Kasten. Maddox Zider on the mound. And was that an out? Did I miss that? <laughs> you did. It I was did. a fly to left. Sorry, I was chit-chatting. Fly ball out number one for Maddox. <laughs> <laughs> Good effort. Thanks, Cedric. Good effort, Abby. So number 14, Harner up to bat for Northfield. And that'll be a foul ball. Ooh, fouled it off himself. Yeah, that doesn't feel good. I would imagine not. I, have a, I think I have eternal just chunks in my ankles from yeah. ball bruises. Yeah, yep. It's the best. Shins, too. It's the best, yeah. too, when, like, it uh, swells around your shoe. Yeah, it's wonderful. It's yeah. good. It's yeah. cute. I think people enjoy looking at it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. So... Ground ball to the second baseman. Two up, two down. Easy out. Zyder doing a good job mixing things up here Benjamin on the mound. 17, Jacob Truman. So Truman up to bat now for Northfield. Maddox Zyder and SVT for RTC. It's a lot of acronyms. That's right a lot, there. yeah. Uh, he was doing a lot of our commentary for football and basketball. He and Dakota Hayden and Galen Rentschler, the third baseman on the team, were our Three main guys this season. This is a this is a plug for them, isn't it? It is. Good job, boys. Thanks. Seriously. Yeah, they are. Uh, I think they're all seniors, so they'll be sorely missed. Strike number one evens the count at one with two outs. Actually, I believe some of them are going to be returning this summer, helping us out. Yeah. So that'll be wonderful. They will Great be. Great help. I think Coming, going to some local colleges, so they wanted to stay and get some work. And IU Kokomo, I believe. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep, I think you're right. They're uh, clearly on the baseball field now, which is why we are here today. <laughs> I sure hope so. Like a fly ball there. Ooh. Going backwards. That's out number three, heading to. Bottom of six, eight to four. Comments in the lead. You're watching RTC TV four. We'll be back after this. Welcome back. Bottom of six here. Drancic still on the mound for Northfield. Galen Rentschler up to bat for Kasten, and he watches ball one scoot across the dirt. So this is bottom of six. If Kasten holds Northfield in top of seven, we don't go to a bottom of seven. My math correct? Well, since I am just now finding out that there's seven innings, yes, that would be correct. Okay, good. High fly ball for Rentschler to center field, right out number one. Casey Alt. Casey Alt comes up to bat for Kasten. Foul ball going back towards the parking lot. Looked like a kid holding a football was going to get it. Hey, whatever works. Yeah. 
Oh. Oh. Off the mask of catcher or umpire? Catcher, yeah. I was at a softball game a couple weeks ago at Indiana State, and the umpire took three separate foul balls off of his body. It was a rough day. Fun. Yeah. By the it's third the job one. job to sign up for, I yeah, guess. By the third one, he just took a walk to the outfield. High fly ball to center field. Looks like that's in play. And we got two down. Camped way under it. Some action. Not a lot of action this game for Northfield center fielder, but two in a row here <coughs> for him. Jesuit hitter, number nine, Carson. It looks like a nice field to hang out in, if nothing else. Yeah, yeah. nice green grass. So, number nine, the designated hitter, Gates up to bat. And Chopper to shortstop gets picked up on the run. Nice athletic play. That was a good play by Northfield. That will end the inning for Cast and Comets. They will head to defend their lead in what could be the last half inning. Not to jinx anything because I have a tendency <laughs> to do so. You're watching RTC TV 4. We'll be back after this. We are back at the top of the seventh inning. Rentschler still on the mound for his second inning, working pretty quickly last time in the sixth inning. Up to bat for Northfield is number 27, Ripplinger. He's the third baseman. First pitch is a strike. Rentschler doing a good job. Excuse me, Zyder doing wow. a good job working quickly. That's Rentschler at third base coming across. And good pick at one. Good scoop there. That is a hard play to scoop at first base, especially when it's outside of your body like that. So big play by all three out there. Out number one for Kasten. They are two outs away from clenching their first home victory here. Number seven, the designated hitter, Viger, up to bat for Northfield. Watch that one way inside there. Yeah, not a bad pitch. Zyder doing a good job of staying close to the mound. I mean plate. Hmm. He's really close to the mound all the time because <laughs> yeah. he's on I it. I would hope. <laughs> oh, hit the lights. Want well, to know a fun fact about foul balls out of play and large telephone poles? I, I feel like I do, <laughs> okay. yeah. Actually, it's not a fun fact. It's a story. So my grandma... <laughs> okay. She goes to my cousin's softball game. My cousin plays at Winnemac, and yeah. my grandma sits in left field in, fr in front of this large tree, huge tree, okay? Last year, home run ball bounces off the tree, hits grandma on the back of the head. Oh, good times. I mean, like, good times. bam, bam, not good. Yeah, and there it was. a little disoriented, right? Yeah. So grandma heads back to the park this year and decides, you know what, that won't happen again. Mm. I'm going to sit. I already feel like I know where this is going. <laughs> I'm going to sit in front of that same tree. So, as we pause the story, like. yes, out number two. Good play by the shortstop for Kasten. Two outs now. Right Back to the story. Five, yes, Grandma Matt. sits there. This so. time she gets smarter. Home runs hit. 
heading towards the tree, what are the chances that she leaps up from her chair, the ball hits the tree, and lands in the chair where she was sitting? That so, was, uh, yep, that was aiming for her. Don't sit by chairs or trees or foul ball poles or any of the oh, like. There goes one right behind us there. Yes, everybody heads up. It was headed for a tree, most likely. <laughs> so and somebody's you, grandma, apparently. And somebody's, grab your grandma. Take care. Get her out of the way. <laughs> You're saving a life. Oh, two outs here as oh, that two. breaking ball comes in pretty nicely there for Maddox Zider. Counts 0 and 2, up by four runs, top of seven. The out here will clinch the victory, and that's a sharp oh, hit to the third baseman. Got a bloop on that one. Not much you can do with that as it bounces mm -hmm. off the glove or leg or some type of body part over there, but it was coming hot. So, second base number three, Hunter still Cox. room to work. Tough to get a glove on that one. Yeah, number three, Cox, second baseman, up to bat now for Northfield. And ground ball to second base picked up pretty easily. And so that's game. Out number three, and that's a victory for your cast in Comets. Score is eight to four here over the visiting Northfield Norsemen. Abby Malco with Tim Final Wagner four. saying Captain goodbye eight. for the night. Four. Overall, a decent game. Terrible weather. Absolutely four. terrible weather. Yeah, I wish we could share that with all of you, but it's... Uh, but we can't. We can't. Everybody, uh, if you are here, go home and get warm, and uh, we'll see you next time on RTC TV4. Bye. Bye.